In this video, we will be taking a look at the drainage plumbing for our two-story home building project. So let's go ahead and get started with the clean out located by the front door. And this would be used to clean out the drain pipe that connects the house to the sewer. Next up, let's go ahead and take a look at the roof vents coming out of the roof and you can connect some of these together. I will try and show you that in a future project. And of course the vents for the lower bathroom along with the vents for the upper bathroom and the laundry over here and our kitchen sink over here. And you can see where this one goes all the way down to the kitchen sink. Next up, we will have a clean out at the back and a clean out behind the sink. I like to put these in, even though sometimes they're not required. If you can take the trap apart, you won't need a clean out. But I hate to say it, they're only a few dollars and hopefully you never have to use them. But if you do, they could be a money saver. And the drainage line for the upstairs bathroom the wash machine drain line with a clean out on both of these. Let's go ahead and take a look at a different angle on that plumbing and then head over to our lower bathroom. Bathtub, toilet, sink. And I have a clean out under the stairs in a closet. And this might require some type of fire protection. It might need to be a rated fitting. And I will try to go over that in a future video also. Next up, let's go ahead and remove the concrete and the soil to give you a better idea of how everything is going to connect together below the concrete slab. And here we have the arm going to the bathtub and then connecting to the drain line. And then we have a vent here for our toilet. I'm not 100% sure that you couldn't get away with using this vent right here. You wouldn't need this one. Or you wouldn't really need this one because you would have this one. However, it's better to be safe than sorry. So I went ahead and put a vent in here and a vent in here. And when it comes to plumbing, I've seen a lot of things done a variety of different ways. So something that might work in my area might not work in your area and vice versa. Keep that in mind when you're looking at this project. Next up, let's take a look at the wash machine drain line. And that will be draining into this line here where we will have a clean out here to clean out all of this stuff here just in case there's ever a problem with that. Next up, let's go ahead and pan out so that we can take a look at how the line is going to connect into here. This would be a three inch line here connecting into a four inch line. And this clean out here is going to clean everything out all the way down to at least this clean out. And then the kitchen drain clean out can be used to clean out this section of the drain pipe. Let's go ahead and take a look at it from the bottom here, give you a better idea of how the drain lines are working. And I don't have anything sloped in the video. It's a lot easier for me to draw it that way. Keep in mind that the plumbing pipes will need to slope a quarter of an inch per foot. However, the three inch and the four inch drain lines can slope an eighth of an inch per foot. Next up, let's take a look at the upper bathroom drain pipe layout where we have the toilet draining into this line here. And then we have the sink draining into here. This is also a wet vent for the toilet. And you're going to need to extend a two inch vent pipe all the way through the roof. If this wasn't going to be used as a vent pipe for the toilet, this could have been an inch and a half. All of this could have been an inch and a half to here. Next up, let's go ahead and take a look at how the sink is going to hook up to the sanitary T fitting that we have here and how this is all going to connect to a combo sweep fitting over here. Next up, let's go ahead and take a look at the bathtub. We're going to have the trap over here. I had to move the joist. I had to relocate these three joists here. And I could have made this shorter here, but I wanted it to be in this stud bay here so that I could free this up for the bathtub and shower combo valve for the water supply, which I will be providing later on. And let us know in the comment area if you want to see it. If I get enough comments, I'll make it a little sooner than later. And we can see here where the bathtub is going to drain into our three inch line here. Again, with a combo sweep fitting where we'll have three 
three inches on the side here and two inches coming out here. And keep in mind that the bathtub can be an inch and a half. However, I like to run a two inch line to here and then run an inch and a half off of it and then an inch and a half up. Even though I'm not entirely sure I did that in this example, this might be an inch and a half all the way through. Next up, let's take a look at it from above here to see how the drain pipes are working and the vent pipe. Next up, let's remove the upper framing and the floor joist so we can get a different view of the plumbing. So no foundation or upper framing here. And if you need detailed information about the pipe fittings, let me know in the comment area. I'll go through and name each one of the fittings. However, I'm not going to do it if I get less than 10 people who want to see it. I went ahead and named them all in one of my videos and didn't get very many views on it. I think I got about 100 million views on it. I'm looking for 100 billion views on this stuff, but I'll settle for 50,000. A view of the kitchen sink and the clean out here. Or should I say we have two clean outs, one for the four inch line, one for the inch and a half line. And a better view of the upper bathroom, sink line here, toilet coming in here, bathtub here. These are all vents going up. And of course the vent would start from above the drain pipe fitting. The vent would be from here up for the dry vent and from here to here for the wet vent. And this one here would be a dry vent from here up. No wet vent here. Next up, let's go ahead and take a look at the wash machine drain line and how it connects to the three inch drain pipe. And then we can start wrapping the video up here with our last view of the lower bathroom and then the bathtub arm toilet drain vent and then vent from here up and this vent is going to tie into this vent here and you could do the same thing with some of the vents in the attic and as always if you have any questions about this video or have some different versions of something that might work better feel free to share those with us in the comment area 